Another way to attempt to solve the traveling salesperson problem is to use what's known as the cheapest link algorithm. Now, this is not guaranteed to, not guaranteed to find the absolute optimal solution, but it is pretty fast as well. The way it works is you're just gonna pick the cheapest link in the graph to start, no matter where you're starting at, just pick the cheapest one, then repeat the next cheapest one, and keep doing that, but keep a couple things in mind. You're not allowed to create a vertex of degree three because that would be going somewhere, leaving, and then somehow coming back to it later and you're not allowed to close a circuit unless you're done. You have to make sure you hit every location without closing a circuit. So the way that works is we're going to draw just our vertices. Now let's pick the cheapest link. 120 is the cheapest one in that whole graph, so we'll put this in at 120. Now let's pick the next cheapest one. The next cheapest is 220, so we will add that one in. In Christ. Now we'll pick the next cheapest, which is down here at 180, so we'll add that one in as well. Now step three, we're just gonna pick the next cheapest, keeping these two things in mind. What is the next cheapest in this graph? It's 220. Is that gonna create a vertex of degree three? No. Is it going to close a circuit? No. So we can definitely add in that 220 as well. Now look at what is left. The next cheapest is this 250, but can we add this 250 to our circuit? No, it wouldn't create a vertex of degree three, but it would close the circuit here, and we wouldn't have a way to go from this section of the graph to this section, so the 250 is out. Next cheapest is the 280 over here, but the 280 doesn't work either because we ended up creating a vertex of degree three at A if we put that in, so the 280 is out as well. We're running low on possibilities, so how about this 350 from somewhere to the upside down? That one looks fine. If we go here, we won't create a vertex of degree three or close a circuit. So we can add that one in at 350. Not very many options left, but keep going through them. 360, does that work? No, because if you go to U to V, that is gonna close a circuit and create a vertex of degree three. So 360 is out. How about the 400? 400 looks like it'll work going from D to V, is going to close a circuit, but that's okay because we're done. So if you put this in, you get a total of 400. So the total here is gonna be 120 plus 220 plus 350, and we get a total of 1,270, which is interesting because that is not the optimal solution. If we used our repetitive nearest neighbor algorithm, we actually found a couple 1270s, but also a 1230 that went all the way around the outside. So we don't even know if that is the best, but this is certainly much faster than trying every single combination, and it's even faster than doing the repetitive nearest neighbor, because there we had to do five separate checks to find the one that was the lowest to compare to this. This got us a reasonably low price solution in a fairly short amount of time.